Hey guys, it's Ree, and I am doing another Ree book pick. It is going to be over the Vampire Academy, um, series. Totally blanked on that word. Um, so let's get started, because there's like, one, two, three, four, five, six books in this series. So, um, yeah, it's like a regular house of night. Sorry. Um, so Vampire Academy. Um, uh, basically it starts off, I really like this book, first of all. I think I spent like less than a day on each of these books. Um, which you could tell probably drove my husband nuts. Um, but yeah. Um, this is a really good book. It's about this girl, these two friends, very best friends. And, um, I'm trying to say what to do because, uh, oh, sorry. Ha. Still slacking. Um, it's written by her. I should just, like, show you instead of telling you because I usually forget or... Um, I say the name wrong. So, yeah, um, and this one's pretty much about two best friends, and at the beginning they run away from each other, or run away from the school, um, because, um, they, the girl that, the, not the main girl, the best friend is feeling threatened and paranoid, and someone's after her, and so they run away, um, and they survive for, like, two years, and then the academy people finally catch them and bring them back to school, and, like, Rose is on probation, and then, um, throughout the year, you know, stuff happens. Rose gets into trouble. Rose is, like, the main character, and, um, she starts to have feelings for her teacher, Dimitri, her, like, um, I guess personal trainer, I guess you can call her, her mentor, and, um, she starts to have feelings and starts to like him, and she thinks that he probably likes her, too, but, she, um, he's a teacher, you know, He's like 27, she's like 17. Um, and then in the end, um, <clears throat> anyway, in the end, um, Lisa's uncle, or uncle, I guess kind of uncle, someone she calls uncle, I don't remember if she's, he's actually the uncle or not, but um, the uncle figure tries to um, kidnap Lisa, which is the best friend to um because he's sick and lisa's um power is that she can heal and uh, um people and even bring people back from the dead which is why rose and lisa are so um bond they called it bonded that's why they're so close well the reason why they're so close is because rose can always know what um lisa is how she's feeling or sometimes like even go into her mind and see exactly what she sees if like her emotions are too high like, if she's really scared, she'll be, um, she'll, like, be zoned into her, her thoughts and see, like, everything through her eyes and see what's happening. Um, and so in the end, um, sorry, going back to the end, need to focus kind of all over the place today. And, um, like, she gets kidnapped by her uncle figure, and so, um, Rose goes into, to runs to Dimitri and she tries to tell him, and then, like, the pendant that the uncle gave Rose, or at least his uncle gave Rose, had, like, a lust charm on it. And so they were, um, about to do it. And then Dimitri kind of let all of his, um, stuff, you know, how he's holding back and all that because she's a young girl, um, back or whatever. And he just lets all that go. And then they're about to do it. And she's, like, half naked. And, like, he takes off, um, the, the necklace, and she finally remembers why she needs to talk to him, and so they save her, go, and they save Lisa in time, and it's all good, and, um, actually, the uncle tries to, Uncle Victor, he tries to, like, escape and stuff, and he turns his daughter, or his daughter turns into an evil vampire, and, and tries to make him escape, and a whole bunch of other stuff happens, <clears throat> but in the end, um, everyone's safe and sound, and the uncle is going to be taken um, to court, vampire court. And yeah, that's the first book. I left a whole bunch of stuff out, but that's why you need to read it. Frostbite. What was Frostbite? I kind of read all of these really fast. Um, <clears throat> Frostbite is a little bit about um, more into their story. Um, This is the one where, oh, this is the one where, um, they go out and she, Rose goes with Dimitri to their, 
where she's supposed to go and qualify for kind of like qualify for her exam or to be a guardian or whatever to protect Lisa and so they go over there and ends up that there's like a murder of one of like like the entire family and they realize that someone is um killing people killing royal vampires off like the evil vampires are killing um the good vampires royal family off and so um <clears throat> So as a precaution, they all go for because it's near Christmas, and they can't risk so many families being apart, especially the royals. They're moving everyone in the school to one of the big um, ski resorts, and so it's like a vacation or whatever over there. And so um, what happens is um, she actually Rose go gets involved with this guy named Mason, and they get just kind of like feeling I'm not trying to go for guys her own age, I guess, because Dimitri just said that we can't be together because we're trying to both protect Lisa and all this stuff and so um so all that stuff happens and then they go away to try to track or the boyfriend Mason goes away to try to prove himself and all that stuff and he goes and like tries to hunt down the, the evil vampires and um he ends up getting everybody caught because Rose and Christian 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 um Lisa's boyfriend kind of goes <coughs> goes and tries to fight um the vampires who are trying to kill off all the royal families and so they all get caught and um so they end up escaping which i'm not going to go into more detail in because it's kind of a cool read that portion of it um they end up escaping and then like before they get home free like they kind of get into a position and makes it ends up getting killed and it's kind of sad it happens pretty quick and then after that um she like Rose is still trying to protect everyone and try to get all the the other three out and um so she ends up killing two of the evil vampires herself and she um even though she hasn't graduated yet and so she ends up getting her marks in the back and yeah they end up getting away and rescued and stuff but she um really gets broken for losing Mason <clears throat> but yeah the third book Shadow Kiss Shadow Kiss she ends up seeing Mason in the dead He's like a ghost figure, and um, the school ends up getting attacked, and um, what else? Yeah, the school ends up getting attacked, and so they all fight and all that stuff, and everyone's fine, and then um, it's thanks to Mason that they figure out where the other ones, the, the bad va vampires, the other ones where they're hiding, and um, so they go and get an attack or they form an attack onto them and so they go into the caves it's near the campus and they go and fight <clears throat> and um what happens is while they're all trying to escape um dimitri actually gets taken and so um heartbroken rose goes and calls for mason and she said um asks him is dimitri dead and he says no uh, is he alive? He says no. And she asks, is he a, a stogie? Stogie? I can't even say it. A bad vampire? He says yes. So that's what happens in this book. In the fourth book, this pile's getting heavy, or heavy, high. In the fourth book, um, basically it's about her fulfilling her promise that she made to herself because um, Dimitri and her said that they would never want to be stogie, they'd rather be dead. And so um, she goes to Siberia and uh, um, Russia and she meets his family and she's off on a mission to kill him and she fails. <laughs> Spiritbound. Spiritbound is um, pretty much Dimitri is after her because, actually no wait, I need to go back. She tries. She really does try. She actually gets to stake him in this book, in Blood Promise. But the only thing is, she ends up not um, driving it all the way through his heart. And so he um, ends up surviving. I forgot about that part. This one. Dimitri ends up trying to hunt her down. And so, um, what else? Yeah, he tries to hunt her down and all that stuff. And then towards the end of the book, Lisa um, ends up 
Oh, they actually, um, because in the third one they mentioned that there's a way to bring Stogie back. Uh, Stogie back to life? Storgy? I'm so saying that wrong, sorry. But, um, it's a way to bring them back, and so she's trying, and even though she's kind of, um, dating a new vampire, Adrian, and how much she cares for him, she still cannot, he cannot, um, compete with Dimitri. Um, so, <clears throat> So what happened is um, Lisa ends up, they figure out all the clues of it, and Lisa ends up um, turning him back into a half vampire, half um, human that he was before he got turned. Oh, that's too high. And that's pretty much that one. And the last book is called Last Sacrifice. And this one is pretty much about how someone is framing Rose for killing the queen vampire. And, um... So what happens is she goes to jail, and then her friends, um, her dad, her mom, not her mom, her dad, and all of her friends um, kind of break her out of prison, and she's on the run with Dimitri, because those two are the only ones who pretty much can survive, because the others are like Royal Mori, and um, yeah, and since Dimitri's still not being 100% trusted, because he was um, a bad vampire, he pretty much doesn't have that much to go off of and so they run away um while the other ones try to find clues to help with her murder and meanwhile um lisa is running for queen kind of to stall time because it's in the thing where you need to be at le have at least two members of a royal family to to um vote or do anything really so um <clears throat> so it's pretty much the stall time um and they go through all that through loopholes pretty much for her to actually to be considered as being a queen and so while all that's happening uh dimitri and um rose and their friend sydney has to go and find um lisa's half sister and so um pretty much that's how she actually ends up being queen in the end um and and find out who killed um the queen which was a complete shocker to me actually i did not i mean i'm i'm not gonna tell you but I did not think that this person would, um, could have been the killer. I had so many other suspicions throughout the entire thing because I was trying to guess and I could not, I didn't even consider this. Um, but yeah, and in the end, um, Adrian and Rose break up because throughout the trip, Rose and Dimitri end up not really re-falling in love, but, um, because in the beginning he was like, oh, I've done so many things, I'm not even capable of loving anymore, and so throughout the journey he's like a little bit trying to realize that he has been given a second chance and he needs to cherish it and live, and so once he says that to her, they kind of, um, rekindle? No, I don't know, whatever, they, yeah, it's, it's good. I kind of feel bad for, wow, this is 12 minutes, crap. Anyway, um, I kind of feel bad for Adrian. I wish it was a happier ending for him. He really gets hurt because he does have, like, an addictive personality throughout, like, his... It's just really sad, and um, I wish he had a happier ending. But either way, um, besides that, um, it's a really good series. I like it a lot. Um, I can't wait to... I'm actually going to go to the P BX and get Bloodlines, which is the... Um, I guess, I'm not really sure if it's a continuation, but it's in the world of the Vampire Academy, so it's like the same rules and the same place and stuff like that, so that way it's a little bit easier. It's not like, I don't even know I said it like that. It's not like the other ones, you know how when you read about Twilight or you read about Thirst or Tantalize or this one or any kind of, um, or Dracula, any kind of thing that has like a vampire in it, or Vampire Diaries, it, oh, sorry, stop naming. They all have their own set of rules. They all have their own set of guidelines. You know, this one can eat garlic, this one can't. This one flames, this one can go out the sun, this one sparkles, this one's fine. I mean, some have tattoos on their forehead naturally, and some get tattooed on their ne back of their neck when they kill evil vampires. You know, it's like, it's very, it gets comforting when you get to read the same series over and over again. And I think I'm reading about like eight vampire series that it's a wonder how I could actually get all of these rules separate in my mind i don't know it's weird but um yeah we're going on 14 minutes which is my longest read book pick ever so um have you guys read vampire academy 
If you have, please let me know what you guys think. If not, please consider buying or renting from your local library. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.